Game here with the junior lightweight world champion Tank Gervonta Davis here at the Copper Box. You defended that title with maturity. You defended it with vicious, vicious accuracy. But first thing I want to commend you on is the way that you ended the fight. Once the last, final bell had rung, the fight stopped, you went over, and you were a gentleman about it. You showed that this was a gentleman's sport. What did you say to Liam Walsh when he went over into his corner? Um, I just, you know, I'm told him, like, um, thank you, thank you for taking the fight, you know, um, a lot of people, you know, uh, would have backed down and things like that, so I commend him for taking the fight, you know, and, um, he wanted his chance, he wanted his, um, shot at the title, so I commend him. The body shots that you landed, it seemed to take the gas out of him right away. That's another thing that most fighters, when they know they have a lot of power, don't usually start with. Was that the game plan to go for the body shots, or did the opportunity just present itself? Um, the game plan was just, you know, stay, um, stay sharp in there. You know, um, look for open shots, and, and when they open, you know, take them. You know, um, he was so he was open to the body, so that's the shot I took. Most people that were handicapped in this fight gave Walsh credit for being a better boxer than you. They thought that he had more skills, more experience, but when you get in there, you show defense and you show patience. Did you find out you were a better boxer than you thought tonight, or is that just something that the critics hadn't seen yet? Um, you know, there's it, it, a lot of people that, that I don't think, I don't think they, they, they discredit me. They just haven't seen enough of Javante Davis. You know, um, they seen little clips, so they, they question my skills, but you know I always I always you know um, prove them prove them wrong you know so um, that's why I'm in this sport to do. Every fighter I talk to says every fight's a learning experience. What did you learn tonight? How have you how have you become better after this fight? Um, just patient. You know again I listened to my corner. You know I listened to Floyd Mayweather and um, we did we did a great job. And lastly, you, over here in London, um, this is the first time you fought out of the States. How did you receive the, uh, the British people? How do you feel about the environment here? This is some place you like to fight regularly. Um, I remember coming up and I, and I watched uh, Floyd Mayweather versus, I want to say, um, Ricky Hatton. And, 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 and the crowd was, you know, against Floyd Mayweather, but he, he stuck to the game plan. He did what he did, he stayed sharp. And that's what's my, my whole object. And, you know, um, tonight, you know, stand sharp, stand focused. You know, I knew the crowd was against me, you know, and I, I stayed sharp. I listened to my corner and I did my thing. You're, you're the IBF li <clears throat> junior lightweight champion. Is there, I know you want to collect more belts. Which titles did you have your eyes on? Where do you want to go from here? Who is it that you feel like you need to take down next and put another strap around that waist? Um... I'm still young, I'm still learning, I'm still um, walking the path, you know, um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to stay focused and, um, you know, get back to the drawing point with my, with my team, uh, Floyd Mayweather, my promotion, um, and my manager, Al Heyman, and um, make the right decision in the sport. Congratulations on an excellent performance. Thank you for a wonderful fight. It's just sportsman, a gentleman, the light, the junior lightweight IBF world champion Tank Javonta Davis here at the Copper Box defending that title. Congratulations, man. Thank you for the interview and thank you for the time. It's a wonderful, wonderful sportsman here. Radio Raheem with Javonta Davis.